Okay, listen, after being with someone for 15 years, it's really hard to be embarrassed in front of them, right? But when it does happen, it's quite literally crippling. I'm turning 30 and for the next 30 days until my birthday, I'm gonna be telling you something embarrassing I did that honestly, not a lot of people know. And when they're reminded, they're still in shock. I'd like to think that we've all, at some point, participated in an activity that we'd rather, you know, no one know about. My particular activity, I was very good at hiding it, okay? Only doing it in like the shadows of the night or like the early morning just before dawn breaks. Like, only my family knew about it and as I got older, like only a handful of friends knew about it, including my husband, so I thought. Recently, me and my husband were sharing like old stories and I was just like laughing and recounting the very first time someone outside of my family caught me doing this activity. When I was younger, up until I was like 12 years old, every night and every morning, I drank a warm strawberry milk out of a baby bottle. Now I have taken psychology classes, okay? And I'd ask for you to please refrain from analyzing any deeper than I already have and please keep your oral fixation jokes to yourself. One day, the morning after a sleepover, I have my best friend lying next to me dead asleep when I feel my mom creep into my room with my warm baby bottle ready for my breakfast. I've been in a full-blown panic because it's already bad enough that at my old age I could sit here alone in my thoughts while I suck this thing but my friend is right next to me and she could just like wake up and see me. My mom's whispering me like don't worry she's like dead asleep like she's never gonna know just enjoy yourself and I'll be back in before she even realizes to take it. In that moment, I really understood the free the nip moment because something about looking at it, it seemed enticing. I'm like, okay, give it to me. I'm there drinking my bottle, thinking to myself, I am way too old to be doing this. And my friend next to me, yeah, she is too young to be traumatized if she looks over and sees me with this thing in my mouth. But to no one's surprise, she did wake up. She looked at me, she was horrified, I was horrified. And I made her swear to me to never tell a single soul. And she held me down. That bitch never told anyone, at least so I think to present day, I'm like laughing at Danil, thinking this is like the fourth, fifth time I've told them the story, when he looked me in the eye and said, what? What the fuck are you talking about? At first, I was very confused by his reaction. I'm like, did I not tell you that Stephanie was the one who found me with a baby bottle? He is now looking at me like he hasn't seen every pole in my body, okay? Even ones that I don't want to admit to myself. He looks at me and goes, I'm not confused by who found you, okay? I'm confused at the fact that you were drinking out of a baby bottle. Until you were 12 years old? Look, for a bitch who never shuts the fuck up, I suddenly had nothing to say to him. Like, surely, surely I had told him about this very embarrassing secret before. I'm thinking to myself, like, well, on one hand, I don't want to hide anything from my husband, right? But on the other hand, I would hide this memory from myself if I could. So I had a choice. Like, clearly he did not remember me telling him this. Unfortunately, I chose the former because of love and trust and whatever. I had to, once again, reveal to my husband that I, Brittany Lima, drank out of a baby bottle until I was 12 years old. There was something in the way he said, dude, what the fuck, why? That really pissed me off. So I turned to him and said, I don't see you ever complaining about the skills I honed during those years. And that was a very weird response and we both went silent. And then I was thoroughly embarrassed with the man I've been with for the past 15 years.